hi everybody and welcome to my channel today is another thrifty thursday <sighs> what do i always say i can't wait to share with you what i got this portion of the video is a little over a minute long let's play a little game let's play what did tessie buy as i share with you this one minute clip of all of the things at the thrift store can you take a guess of what i bought this week Let's see how close you were. And I'm really careful what I'm buying. Well, I usually am careful what I'm buying. I did get one frivolous item. And I know, I just told you last week that I don't buy a lot of things to sit around, but I thought this was just cute. <laughs> and you know, it's been a long time since I bought something like this for 75 cents. I bought this bear. I love bears. I think you guys all know that. I just thought it was so cute. And come on, what's the word we want to say? Old fashioned. <laughs> I love this bear and I just thought it was cute. I know I keep repeating myself. You know what? I don't need to, I don't need to defend myself for buying such a cute bear. Wouldn't you buy her too? You'd buy her too, wouldn't you? <laughs> all right, we're going to put her right up there. For now, I won't keep her there. Where am I putting her? I don't know, I don't know yet. And then I thought this was neat for 25 cents. 25 cents, it's amazing. I don't think it's old, it looks old, but it was so neat. Hers Bookstore, Lancaster, PA. I went home and did some research on this. In fact, it is from the 1920s to the 1930s. It was a student's book. It is very old. And the sticker on the back of it said from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, actually came from a very old general store that has been out of business for many, many years. I thought it was very interesting and it is a collector's item and it is worth quite a bit of money. I don't know, but that was neat for 25 cents. I love things that look like that. And for a dollar each, I got these. Now they are not to really use, they're just for, you know, decorations, but I'm gonna use these for when I'm working in my herb beds because I have something so exciting. Now, as you all know, we're gonna do the plant markers using the corks and using the forks. Corks, forks. We're gonna be using both of them, and then we're gonna use this to help decorate it. 
Because who says you can't have some fun in the garden and make it look whimsical? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Last year I did the Peter Rabbit, the year before I did the Peter Rabbit. Videos are up here, all my Peter Rabbit gardening. Oh, it's Peter Rabbit again. And I even got some amazing ideas that I've been working on behind the scenes with my Peter Rabbit garden. Peter Rabbit is one of my favorite books. I love Beatrice Potter. I love all the books that she wrote. I love the illustrations. I love everything about Peter Rabbit. You don't have to be a child to learn. You don't have to be a child to love some of the childish things because I just do. So this would be great for in my garden. And then we went to Tractor Supply and I'm gonna show you some video clips right here. And my daughter bought this for $1.09. Originally, it was $3.99, then $2.39, and then it was down to $1.09. Oh, and they smell so good. So she got me these tea lights as a surprise. So that was just part of the fun that we had today. Okay, so now I gotta tell you about this. You guys gotta sit back and drink some coffee or tea because I'm getting a little bit winded with my talking today, but Okay, take a deep breath, because I'm excited. When I get excited, I talk really fast and I don't breathe. Okay, so you all know by now, anybody who's watched any of my videos knows by now, and, and one of my very first subscribers, Owen, every once in a while gives me a care package with these jars in them. As you know, I use them and I recan them. I have pressure can in them and a water bath can in them. I'm going to be doing a video on the company about these jars, which is absolutely amazing. I thought, hmm, I wonder if you can buy these jars. So I looked on Amazon and they wanted $50 for six of them. So then I went on eBay, Owen, you're sitting on a gold mine. Literally, you're sitting on a gold mine with these jars. They want $32 for six used jars like this. For here in the United States, now I don't know where they're, I forget where they're made, you know, maybe you get them cheap. I love these. I reuse the lids over and over and over again. I do. They had two of these for 15 cents. Now, if everybody that go, now if everybody in the world would start eating more of this jelly and donating it to the thrift store, I could really have some fun because I love these. And I know the jelly is rather expensive, but it's extremely good. I went to the store to videotape so you could see exactly what it is. They're $5.29 per jar. That's the cheapest I found them. Hey, if you eat this jelly, let me know. Save me the jars. Or better yet, use them for yourself. So, I got two of these. Yay! For 15 cents. So, I am very blessed with having Owen in my life for many reasons. Because Owen is a wonderful friend and subscriber. He is the kindest person you'd ever want to meet. And I'm so glad I got two of these and I'm going to keep looking for these. Because I know that it's not cheap for Owen to send these to me. All right, I got one other thing. And I paid $1.50 for this, but on Amazon, they want so much money for these. And I got a WEC jar. So a WEC jar is a jar with the rubber lid. Um, People use these to can in other countries. I don't know nothing about that, but I'm glad for it. It was $1.50, but I needed it for an upcoming project. I didn't spend that much money. And I don't have my receipt, 
but I spend under six dollars. I do know that. So everyone, there is my Thrifty Thursday, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow because you never know what I'm going to be sharing with all of you, but it's always something different. Bye, everybody.